Here comes the lunatic fringe. And his opponent from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose. He can be technically savvy. He can brawl. There's a lot of pride on the line between these two athletes tonight. Two of the proudest athletes we have ever seen in WWE. If this is anything like TLC matches of the past, you can expect an unbelievable amount of carnage left in the wake. Nailed it. Ambrose starting to struggle now. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory. This might be it! Oh, my! That could be a game-changer. That might be the end of Dean Ambrose tonight. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. Well, he's got to get himself out of it now. Big time slam. Vicious. This is all but over. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. Beautiful technique. so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Oh boy, he is rolling. All right, listen up, morons. Especially you, Byron. A tables, ladders, and chairs match come. Oh, no. We know what this is. you got to believe this one's over. I don't like Ambrose's chances here at all. And it's Dean Ambrose making a move. Corey, you spoke about the TLC match. It is interesting to note that the TLC match was created because of the incredible triangle ladder match the Dudley boys had against the Hardys and Edge and Christian for the WWE Tag Team titles at WrestleMania 2000. And that was just the beginning. You got that right, Michael. There was incredible history between those three teams. Each duo put it all on the line so they could be WWE Tag Team Champions. Even though the wild matches between them had TLC elements in them, the first official TLC match sanctioned by WWE took place at SummerSlam 2000. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after the match. In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was WWE champion. John Cena was the World Heavyweight Champion. The winner would leave as WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Corey, you mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating. The match had incredible historical significance. The World Heavyweight Championship dates back to the early 1900s. The Gentlemen, there's a storm on the way. Big storm. Ooh, right in the face. Destroyed. That has got to be it. Harsh impact.
I had the chance to tour the WWE Performance Center earlier today, which is not too far from us here in Orlando. It's such an amazing state-of-the-art facility. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. If there's a maneuver that can put your lights out in a hurry, it's Dirty Deeds. The double arm DDT from the Lunatic Fringe is awesome. Oh, nasty impact. One of the things that's helped Dean Ambrose become so feared is Dirty Deeds. The move is tough to defend against, and an opponent has no idea when it's going to strike, just like the lunatic fringe himself. Dean Ambrose has taken the DDT and made it more devastating than ever. When the lunatic fringe drops his opponent with Dirty Deeds, you can bet we'll be looking up at the lights. Boom, what impact! <laughs> oh boy, he is rolling. what's gonna happen this match could go anywhere oh shows no mercy in that poor chair it looks like a twisted heap wow can't believe dean ambrose get out of that one whoa the ladder hits jeez that's gonna hurt A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake. But being too tentative can also cost you. You saw that. He's looking at it. A cutter! Here's his moment, Michael. And that might just be enough to end this match. Look, Dean Ambrose. He looks like he's got this. All right, it doesn't get much more elementary than this. The only thing left here to do is climb the ladder and win this match. Even this superstar can do that. The 2016 TLC match was the 19th in history, and it would not be for the faint of heart. There was no way to predict which superstar was going to incapacitate his opponent first to climb up the ladder. AJ Styles showed he was more than comfortable battling in TLC's environment of twisted, unforgiving steel and solid wood. Both men had bad intentions as displayed by AJ Styles when he executed a springboard 450 splash out to the floor that put Ambrose through a table. That wasn't enough to put Ambrose away, but James Ellsworth pushed Ambrose off the ladder, out of the ring, and through a table. That's how AJ Styles retained his championship. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Here we go. Looking for something big up here. And that's exactly what we're going to get. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Oh, no. I don't like Dean Ambrose's chances in this one. He doesn't like you. Make sure everyone's clear on the rules of a TLC match. There are a second time. And up onto the table. Cover your eyes, Saxton. This isn't for the weak of heart. Attitude adjustment. I don't like Ambrose's chances here at all. You gotta wear your opponent down. Find that little weakness that could help you end up with a victory.
Oh boy, he is rolling. And it's Dean Ambrose able to break free. He wants it one more time. Harsh impact. I don't like Ambrose's chances here at all. Dean Ambrose prides himself on being the Iron Man of WWE, being on the road 300 days a year, despite his looking for the win. I don't like Ambrose's chances here at all. Guys, let's go to the replay. Yeah, I definitely need to see that again. Dean Ambrose, this is going to be big. Picking up on your previous statement, Byron, image is something Dean Ambrose should concern himself with. You should carry yourself as a WWE superstar. Wash your hair once in a while, wear proper attire. It shouldn't matter what he wears, Corey. It's about what's on the inside. Dean Ambrose does what he does because he loves it. And that is why the WWE Universe connects with him. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. Guys, remembering the long and shaky journey it was for Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins to reunite, but once they did, the WWE Universe was beyond excited to see fences mended and the Raw Tag Team Championships around Dean and Seth's waist. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Getting on the subject of that highly anticipated reunion Byron mentioned, Ambrose and Rollins were brothers united for a common cause. And Corey, don't forget that title victory put Dean Ambrose in a rare class of Grand Slam champions. Yeah, it's really kind of unbelievable how quickly Ambrose made that list. Kurt Angle, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, and Dean Ambrose. One of these things is not like the other. Oh boy, he is rolling. Here he goes. There it is. I don't like Ambrose's chances here at all. Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. Butterfly DDT. I don't like Ambrose's chances here at all. He wants no part of the outside. He looks for it once again. Oh, and a butterfly DDT! Nicely done! Corey, check this out. Yeah, that was amazing. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He might have it. Powerball! I don't like Ambrose's chances here at all. There you go, Cole. Setting up! There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep, get rid of the self-doubt, and continue on toward victory. The intensity of this match has been incredible. He 
He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Yes! Takes it! Here is your winner, Tay. Big singles win here, guys. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. We've got an animated crowd here tonight, as we usually do when we're in Orlando.